Hey everyone, Miss Alyssa here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dragon headband tail hat. Um, it's really fun. It is one of the more um, technical of our crafts. Um, it does have a lot of working components to it, um, but it's really fun and it looks really great on. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so any colored construction paper will do. Um, it doesn't have to be green. Your dinosaur spikes can be anything that you want. Um, so you'll need three pieces of construction paper, tape, glue, a ruler, scissors, and a pencil. Um, also, if you want to use a stapler, sometimes staplers, um, the staple, sorry, the staples help um, secure it a little bit better. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So for the first part, um, we'll be making the headband part. Um, this will, you know, hold the pieces and then we'll put the tail on it. So you'll take one piece of paper and put it long ways. So this way. Um, and then with your ruler, find the um, inches side and take it down. And then you'll need to make um, about six marks. And then you'll also have some leftover paper too. Um, so let me show you. I made six little tick marks on the bottom and then there will be extra side on it. And then you'll go ahead and cut these out. Um, I drew lines on mine just to make it a little bit easier. And um, then you'll take the two pieces and then of course, if you know, the two pieces are a little bit smaller, obviously this would not fit my head as I have an adult size head. Um, so depending, you will have extra paper. And then I like to tape it um, just cause the glue doesn't always hold. Of course you can use, you know, whatever you have available. If you have a glue stick or Elmer's glue, go ahead and use that. Um, I just like to use tape. So you go ahead and tape it together um, and then loop it again. Um, you can size it onto the head um, and kind of figure out, you know, if you want it bigger or smaller. Um, and then you'll tape it again this way and you have your headband. So that is step one. I'll put that right over here. Okay. And then, um, you'll have cut out the rest of the, um, the lines and those pieces will be for the tail. Um, so two more pieces for the tail. Um, I actually used four pieces for the tail. That's why I did six. Um, so it'll be once we get to that point, then you'll tape them together. Um, so I made it a little bit longer. Um, again, it just, it depends on the size of the child. <laughs> um, so once you have those cut out, you'll put them together again, um, just like so. Again, I like to use the tape just cause it feels more secure. Then you don't have to wait for it to dry. It's just easy peasy right on there. Um, so you won't loop this through. You'll keep it long because then at the end, once we have all of our spikes on, you're going to tape it um, to the inside and then it'll be the, the spikes. All right. So you have those parts. You have the headband and then um, the tail part that we will be gluing onto. Okay. So then with your last two pieces of paper, um, you're going to go on the short end. So last time we did the long end, that's how we got those many lines this time. Um, we want them to be a little bit wider. So we're going to go ahead and make, um, with our ruler, two inches. Um, 
two inch tick marks. And you're gonna get about, um, with both, both pieces of paper, about five, um, sorry, about 10 total um, on both pieces of paper. So again, with your other piece of paper, you'll make those tick marks. Again, it's uh, two inches. So they're a little bit thicker. And then with your scissors, you'll cut those out. Um, I already cut them out. Put those to the side. Um, so once you cut them out, um, see how it's a little bit thicker and it is longer. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna fold it over. Um, so take the two ends and fold it down. Make sure the ends meet, and then you're gonna smooth it down. So now you have the two pieces, and then you're gonna do that with all the pieces that you cut out. So then you have, um, it's like that. Okay, so now that you have these, you're gonna place it down with the folded edge facing you. Um, so the open side, the mouse side, is away from you. And then you're gonna take your ruler. This is how we're gonna make the spikes. You're gonna take your ruler and offset it. Um, I'll do it this way. So you don't want it to be completely all the way down here. Um, you don't want it all the way at the edge. You want it to be a little bit up um, because you want to have a little extra room at the bottom because when we fold it up, it'll leave a little extra space. Um, so you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. So make your lines, and I don't worry about meeting them up exactly because when you do your lines, it creates the triangle shape for you. Um, so go ahead and do that with all sheets of the paper. Again, the mouse side, the open side facing away from you, and then the folded side facing you. And then leaving a little bit of space. You have your triangles to make the spikes. So then once you have that done, you're gonna take your scissors um, and cut. Okay, so there's one. And there's two. Put, take the scraps and put them elsewhere. I'll take the two that I already did. One more, sorry, I know that this is I'm just watching me cut right now. Okay, so I have four pieces. I'm done with the ruler, done with the pencil and the scissors. Okay, so remember the, that ends that we did together um, that we made into one big line. So you're gonna take those and um, put it straight out and then um, see, we cut out these and these are going to be our spikes. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it and then place it down. Um, and you can do it beforehand, kind of guide where you want them to go. Um, but once you have those there, then this is the part where I use my glue stick. Um, so you're going to uncap it. Um, and then you can use a glue stick or if you have regular liquid glue, just whatever you have around the house is good. And then you're just going to tape it, glue it down. Um, and then again, leave a little bit of space and glue it down. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side and then pull over the one that I did already. Okay, so this is what it's going to um, look like once you're all done. 
you'll want to have some extra space. Um, so you're gonna glue the two pieces together. So you need the extra space. And then you also need the extra space because it is going to be um, glued down to the headband. Um, so if you do it too tight, like at the end that I did here, um, if you do it too tight, that's not gonna leave enough space for you. Um, so you'll want a little bit extra room. Okay, so now that everything's glued over, you'll flip it over um, so that the lines are on the top. Um, so this way, you know how it's nice and neat, it's all on the top. Uh, the spikes are on the top, you want it to flip over so that it's on the side. Um, because what we're gonna do, and this is how I do it, um, you're gonna turn them so that they're diamond shape facing out, and then you're gonna glue one side, and then you're gonna pick them up and meet them in the middle. So just like that, meet them in the middle. And then these do take a little bit of time to glue um, and then of course, if you have the tape, you can come and tape them just on the side. Um, but if you just hold it for a couple seconds, it'll be fine. Again, you're going to take your glue stick and pull it up to meet it. And then hope. This is a really fun craft and super easy and cheap. Um, you can find construction paper and everything that you need at the dollar store. Um, I personally love the dollar store. Um, for that reason, you can find a lot of great things there. Um, again, I glue it. Glue one side. You don't have to glue both um, if you don't want to. And then you don't need to go all the way down either. All right. Glue the pieces together. And you can see the other ones, they kind of settled. And that's fine. You can have the gaps. That's perfectly fine. It adds to the dimensions, uh, makes it completely 3D. All right. So now that that's all glued together, now we're going to take our two ends and put them together. Um, so again, you want to leave the end part. This one will be our tail end of our tail. So this side, and then this side is a little bit longer. So we're going to use that to secure it to our headband. Um, so we're going to take the smaller side and line it up with that. And again, you can glue it staple it tape it um right now i'm going i just i'm going to tape it and then tape it on both sides just to secure it um, if you're gluing it i would glue both sides down all right so now we have our long tail and we're going to secure it to the headband okay so long end of the tail this extra piece we're going to take our headband and pick one side it doesn't matter you can do any side and then what i like to do is fold it over to secure it um just because it adds a little bit of extra hold um i'm gonna take it and tape it and then I'm gonna tape this side too. Again, you can glue it, you can staple it. Um, if you do staple it, you'll wanna add a piece of tape just to cushion it because it will scrape the head. All right, so now once you have it like this, go ahead and put it on your head. Um, I'm actually gonna Take the camera and turn it, so bear with me. I'm sorry, hello. <laughs> All right, so now that you have your headband on there, um, 
I'm gonna use the one that I already made because this tiny little hoop is not gonna fit on my adult size head. Um, so we're gonna take, okay. So you're gonna put it on your head. Well, let me, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna put it on your head and then figure out where exactly it hits on your head um, and then glue it down. So let's take that off. I will actually put this one on. It won't fit on my head all the way. Okay, so I have it on like a crown and let's say it hits right here. You're gonna take it and then leave a little bit of a bump um, for the headband part. And then um, this you'll need, you can have your child hold it for you um, while you tape it um, or they can, or they can hold it for you. Um, and they tape it, you know, whatever, however that works for you. Um, so then it's taped, it's secure, and you can go ahead and run around like a dinosaur. Um, so I know this video is a little bit long. It's one of our longer videos um, that I've done, uh, but this craft is really fun and really easy to recreate and see has my ah, dinosaur tail. There we go. <laughs> Um, this is our first video for Dine November uh, for the crafts. The whole month of November, there will be dinosaur uh, take-home crafts available at the library. And um, the videos will all be posted. We have a lot of fun programs for uh, this month planned all month long. We have a video from Dan Go doing a Jurassic um, workshop drawing tutorial. Um, so that's really fun. That's on our Beanstack page. Uh, we also have T-Rex Explorers back for a virtual program. If you missed it last year, it was a wonderful program. It was very educational and super fun. He showed so many um, dinosaur fossils and everything. It was great. Um, so that will be on Wednesday, November 25th, the day before uh, Thanksgiving at 1 o'clock. And then we also have our Dino Walk starting next Monday. Um, some of the businesses downtown will have dinosaur pictures in the window and you'll go around and see how many you can spot and try and get bingo. bingo. Um, you can download the page off of our website or you can come into the library and get your bingo card. Um, and then once you get bingo, you can bring it into the library and we will hand you a prize. Um, also on, uh, November 11th, that's next, yeah, next Wednesday, uh, we'll have a princess story time, uh, princess bedtime story time, uh, via Facebook. Uh, if you haven't joined the group, you can go ahead and do that. All the events are on, uh, Facebook and our, uh, Beanstack site and our website. So go ahead and go there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a good day. Bye.